Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're gonna cheat. Uh, we're gonna try out. <laughs> I tried combining the words "try" and "see." It didn't work too well. City skylines, green cities. Um, should be an interesting time. I really enjoy city skylines. Uh, I just got an advanced copy of the Green Cities expansion, which is due out. I think it was October nineteenth, two thousand seventeen. So. In a couple of days here we'll be saying that to the general public but for right now i'm able to show off some content for you i can't review it because i'm under embargo but i can do let's plays and the like so let's go ahead and see what green cities is all about uh noise pollution used to depend on road type but now it is caused by vehicles you may see slight changes in your cities hi aiden uh, when building or creating a district you can now choose to switch information overlay on or off whatever best suits your needs Okay. New parks, trees, and props. New cars have arrived. As technology advances, your citizens can now have electric cars. Keep an eye on new vehicles. They also produce less noise pollution. Check out the new parks, new tree types, and fancy floating buildings to make your city feel more alive. Creating all new roads has been made a lot easier. Check the asset editor and instructions on our wiki. Test your skills. Can you unlock the new unique buildings and gain an ultimate recycling center? Go green. There are new scenarios that let you try hand try your hand at many types of green cities. So there's three new scenarios. Eco-friendly. Okay, you can now apply new policies. You can restrict how much ground pollution industries create. Okay. Self-sufficient housing, organic produce preference, or high-tech offices. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a shot, uh, see what it's going to be like. We'll start a new game so we can see it progress as we go. Um, let's see which one. I think this is the Green City expansion. All right, so it looks like the new maps are Lavender Lake, Eden Valley, and Garden Rivers. Uh, Eden Valley seems kind of nice. All right, let's give that a go. Ding, fries are done. All right, let's get started, shall we? All right, so here's our entry point here. Let's zoom out and see what we got to work with. So we have a mountain range on our right, and we've got This here, this should be fun to work around. All right, let's get a road going. Hi, blue hair, how are you? All right, let's go ahead and connect these. All right, now they've got a way in. So I guess we gotta figure out where do we wanna put our power plants? Where do we wanna put our housing? Like this here is like, this it cuts right into everything I could possibly get. Like I'm gonna have to split things up a bit. I could maybe put maybe wind turbines over here, higher up on this hill. Water's gotta go somewhere. Uh, maybe the pumps can go here. Garbage has to go somewhere too, so where am I going to put garbage? I could put garbage maybe over here, assuming it'll fit on this mountain. All right, let's build. Is that me or my crooked? Oh, it just seems like I'm I'm building a little bit. There we go. That's straight. Maybe. Good enough. 
All right, so we're gonna want to road down here because we have to connect. We have to connect power to whatever pumps that we put down. And again, where are we gonna put our power? Wind turbines. Again, probably ideal higher up here, like these mountains here, or I could put them over here. Actually, they're not as good as over here. Let's let's put them over here. Why not? All right, so we'll put one down for right now. We can always put more down later. Let's draw some power lines. And we're gonna need some pumps as well. So we got a water pumping station Okay, now here's the thing. The water pumps are going to have to be put here and the sewage maybe down here somewhere because I don't want the sewage flowing into my water pump. So I, I got to be careful how I'm placing these. So I could put that here, the sewage up, you put somewhere down here. We still need to connect them, power them up. Let's get some residential zones so that we can actually get some money from taxes. Because right now we've got a negative balance in terms of how much we're making on a weekly uh, weekly basis. Alright, let's do... Yeah, I don't want to fill this in. I'm okay, thanks. How are you? I'm a little under the weather, but other than that, I'm okay. Get some commercial zones down in preparation for that. We will need residential or industri industrial zones. So they have a place to work and all that. I could put the industrial zones maybe over here. Away from the water. question is, what can I fit over here? For whatever reason, it keeps trying to snap. There we go. That's straight. See, that's the thing. It doesn't look straight to me. Although, maybe this is crooked. <laughs> oh, well. Like, this is on an angle. That's all right. We'll make do. All right, we'll throw some industrial zones here. Hi, Forge. How are you? We will need power and water and all that jazz. All right, let's go ahead and connect our sewage. And pump. I think the windmill needs it. No. I'm okay, thanks. Yeah, I can name my city at some point. Alright, looks like they now have water and power. So they should be relatively happy now. Not gonna do that. It will be known as Voyager because Star Trek. I will give people names, though, in terms of street names. That's one thing I like to do. So once we get enough streets, I'll start giving people street names. All right, let's do... I loop. How are you? Alright. 
Let's go ahead and fast forward time a smidge. See if people move in here. There we go. I think we're starting to see some construction now. Good. Need of water, I think I can accommodate. Let's go ahead and bring this over here. There we go. And it looks like we'll need some more industry. The RCI meter on the very bottom will tell us what we need and what we don't need. There's a high demand for industry right now. Let's see if that does the trick. If not, we'll add more. Okay. All right, looks like demand for industry is leveling off. Although residential now has a high demand. All right, let's continue adding. No, we want residential. All right, let's demolish. Make way for that. There we go. And let's make sure they're getting power. Yeah. Good. Good, good, good. This game is so relaxing. I don't know why. It's just I really enjoy city builders like this. Doggies. Awesome. Nice little cozy neighborhood. The hedgerows are nice. Who lives here, really? This is it? The Umber residence. They got the crap end of the stick. Look at the size of this house compared to this one. Looks like demand is still high for residential. Let's go ahead and add some more here. We'll throw it all the way down here. Looks like our weekly income is starting to level off too. We've got a weekly income of plus three simoleons now. Oh look, they're finally upgrading. Look at that, finally. These poor people. Or oh, is this a separate house? Oh, these, these poor people still have the crap end of the stick. I feel so bad for them. Oh, those poor people. Alright, so who's still in the chat? I'll give you a street name. I only have room for a few streets right now. If I click on the street name, and then I, I can rename this, for example. Aiden was the first here, so I can give this one to him. So, Aiden Street. There. Let's make sure we've got enough power. All right, available electricity is actually in the red. We're going to need another another wind turbine. While wind turbines are definitely green in terms of pollution, they are expensive and don't power as many homes. There it goes. All right, let's check our power now. Yep, we're back up in the green again. We're producing 50 megawatts, and electri electricity consumption is 9 megawatts. In terms of water, we're fine. We've got plenty of water. That's not an issue. All right. Uh, looks like we're craving commercial zones again. Um, let's go ahead and let's do this. I want to add a street here. 
just for future planning, we might want to we might want to add a street here, or maybe a bridge up and over. Um, let's continue adding here. Question is, where can I put it? That no. Ah, little Hamlet. Awesome. So we've got taxes now, loans, garbage, healthcare, and education. Let's do this. Let's add... Oh, I can't add that there, really. Oh, I guess these power lines are in the way. Let's do this. Um, we need to... Alright, this is all connected... Here, what we could do is we could add add that here like so now it's powered through that now we just need to connect let's do this there it's on the other side of the road now i can build stuff in the middle here so let's go ahead and delete that out go. Everything's still connected. Everyone's happy. They've got power. All right. Now we need some more industrial zones and commercial zones. Let's add uh, some commercial right here. And industrial over here. We might want some more than that, but we'll see. work. I want an avenue in the middle here, personally. From here all the way down to in improve our traffic flow. Let's go and add right there. And we now everyone's covered via water. And I'm thinking we can take these two out of here. Free up some space. There we go. You know, we clear this one out too. Because we're connected here as well. Pretty soon we won't even need the power lines. All right, who else is in the chat? Forge was here, so I'll give him Forge Street. And that's going to bother me. Let's go ahead and type out the word street here on Aiden Street. There we go. bug spray van. Where are you going? Delivering goods to general store. I love how each vehicle has a life of their own. Nope, no one speaks French. I can say we, oui, that's about it. S'il vous plaît. There we 
go. Add some more residential there. Let's make sure we've got water. Ah, we need water. All right, let's cover that. Some ugly houses with the green roof. Pancakes. I want pancakes. Oh, we need some trash services. All right, so we need to figure out a place for that. I wonder if we can put it over here or maybe over here somewhere I want my pollution to all be in one place if I can recycling center that's new citizens can recycle more different kinds of waste when the recycle or the city has a recycling center making less garbage pile up the center re produces small amounts of raw materials from the waste huh i wonder if that would be sufficient all right see ya hi peter how are you i wonder if that can take the place of this it's more expensive to put down It still causes pollution, but not nearly as much. All right, let's add, let's put this maybe somewhere else. Yeah, but let's see if that does the trick. We've got a little recycling center up here now. Not enough electricity, and we can solve that. I'm okay, thanks. A little under the weather, but other than that, I'm good. Right, let's add, there we go, some power lines. Hopefully that's enough. All right, looks like people want a medical clinic. We'll go ahead and add that. We're making about a thousand a week or so, so that shouldn't be a problem. All right, upkeep is 400 a week. All right, let's add that maybe over here somewhere. Or do we want like an avenue? We can do a six lane road. We can do a four lane road. Mm. Let's do this. Let's. We'll add something like this, and then we'll demolish. Well, we could keep that there, I guess. I mean, I could add buildings here as well. I haven't decided. If I connect this to this, that'd be kind of silly to have these run parallel to each other. I'm tempted just to take, well, oh, this is tough. All right. Maybe I should connect it to the avenue in only like a couple of places as opposed to a lot of different places. I could do that. So if I connected it here, say. There. 
All right, let's go ahead and add that medical clinic. That'll cover a little bit. Yep. Looks like the clinic is up and running. Hopefully we've got water. Looks like it. Already the sirens are blaring. That's good. Always a good sign. <laughs> Go nuts, donuts. Gee, I wonder why they got sick there. Trying to click on it while it's moving is difficult. There we go. Okay. I'll go ahead and give Peter a street too while I'm thinking about it. Peter Street, there we go. I'm trying to give everyone that joins the chat names. Alright, looks like we're gonna need more residential. Especially since we just put down a recycling center. Oh, power might be an issue too. Yeah, all right. Let's go ahead and add another wind turbine up here. It should be starting any second. New services, what do we get? Elementary school, community school, that's new. I don't think I've seen that before. A small and safe community school allows children to get education and grow into educated adults. An alternative to elementary school. Let's do community school. We'll try that. Um, the upkeep is slightly more. Also more expensive to put down. And its student capacity is 250. So what's the point? I'll put it down anyway. Is that going to be too much per month? No, we're good. All right. We'll add... I guess we'll put the school over here. Here we go. And something tells me I don't need these power lines here anymore. Hi, Yoav, is it? So now we've got this new community school up and running. Interesting. I guess Yoav, you want a street too? If that's how you pronounce it. We'll have to get another street. Let's do one here. Now, see, that doesn't connect right. Ugh. I hate it when that happens. I really do. Maybe I should move this somewhere else. I like it nice and straight. Right. And from here, let's try that. New building, landfill site. All right, we'll add some more residential like the game wants us to. And I'll throw some commercial over here too since there's no commercial zones over this way. And water's looking good. Okay. And 
Up we go. Just as a reminder, uh, Green Cities expansion is due out October 19th. Again, this is sort of like a preview look at it. More houses going up. Right, let's add some more residential. And it looks like water's still looking good. Power may be an issue. What do you do in this game? Uh, you build a city. That's basically the gist of it. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward time so we can get some money rolling in here. All right, let's go ahead and rename this street. Have you ever played SimCity? It's like that. Yoab Street. There we go. So you've got your own street now. And I just leveled up. Worthy Village. Again, since you've never played this before, um, you unlock new stuff to put into your city as you grow your population. So in this example, I reached a population of 900. I now have access to districts, policies, second loan, district specializations, policies. I now have fire and police services, unique buildings. I can do forest and agricultural specializations, self-sufficient buildings. Hmm. They recycle their waste and produce energy with solar panels. That's part of the new green, uh, the green expansion, the green cities expansion. It generates less tax income, though. That's the downside. Organic and local produce. Yes, you did. You leveled me up. Absolutely. <laughs> We are going to need another another one of these. Wind turbine for electricity. On the top left-hand corner, there is an electri electricity availability. When it goes into the red, that means we don't have enough power to power all of our buildings. So I'm going to put one down there. And this little arrow should jump up a bit once it's online. Once it starts spinning. There it goes. It gave us some power there. We're back up into the green. For a little bit, anyway. They don't... These things don't pump out a whole lot of power, but they are clean energy. They they don't pollute. And, of course, we've got our water over here. We're pumping in water. And all the sewage is being dumped back out. Turning the water different colors. You'll see this get darker as the game goes on. Yummy. Good old sewer water. Yum. Alright, let's go ahead and build some more housing. Oh, let's go ahead and bring this road down. There we go. And we'll add some more residential add some commercial zones so that people can shop and do different things. And we'll add an in industry over here so people can work. All right, looks like water is reaching all of these locations, so that's good. And the houses are building. District specializations. Let's take a look at that. Industrial specializations. We have forestry. We can basically specializations. You paint. You paint specializations over existing zones, and then they become whatever you specialize them in. So if I were to create a specialization here of uh, farming, these would be torn down, and farms would go up in their place. And they each have different attributes. There's generic industry. 
All right, organic and local produce. This is changes commercial areas. Let's do that. Pro produces 50% of sold goods locally. Truck traffic in the area is reduced, increases electricity consumption, and reduces garbage. And this is, yeah, so maybe we, maybe we should do that. I also like self-sufficient buildings. It generates less tax income, though. That's, that's the only downside. All right, looks like we're still making some money. That's good. All right, let's go ahead and paint a district. So I want to see what the self-sufficient buildings look like. And I'll do the organic and local produce. That'll change the commercial zones into something organic. And then our residential ones, self-sufficient buildings. So now we'll see these buildings all turn into something green, I guess. All right, so things are rebuilding now. Let's see what this looks like after it's all said and done. Oh, good, there's a fire. That's just wonderful. We don't have a fire department. We should probably put one down. All right, I'll put one down over here. Yeah, go get him. You don't want to be self-sufficient? Why not? Don't you want to go green? <laughs> the green shop. Buy it all shop. Uh oh. What was that? I heard like lightning or something. Alright, let's go ahead and speed this up so that we can get more buildings in here. It doesn't seem like people want to go green either. All right, keep moving in people. You know you want to. Organic dry goods. Slowly but surely, people are moving back in. Select the chirper tool. Uh, which one do we want to look, make our chirper look like? We can make him... He's got some sort of helmet on. We can make him look like that. I don't think it matters, does it? I guess I'll keep it like that for now. I'm surprised industry is still got demand here. Uh, we're gonna have to maybe do something about that. Let's let's get more industry pumping at. Can't put it here because of these power lines. Um, why am I losing money? Because I recently changed everything to green organic stuff. It's a new district, and I guess people aren't as happy about that. So if I have to, I'll switch it back to uh, regular buildings. 
This is part of the new uh, Green Cities expansion that's coming out on the 19th to the general public. Don't spam or I will ban you. All right, what was I doing? All right, read the rules while you're in timeout, dude. I do need to get more industry down. So let's go ahead and demolish. Let's create power lines going from here to here. There we go. That way I can demolish these and put more industry here. Put some more industry down. It's what the people want. Looks like crime is running rampant. I'll have to do something about that, too. Once we get it, once we get enough money, we'll put a police station down. Uh, generally not. No, you don't want to have negative income. You want to get as much money as possible so you can continue building stuff. I may have to raise taxes. Let's see if that does the trick. I can also reduce my water budget a bit. Yes, yeah, as much as I can do. I could do 10 I could do even more than 10% if I want to, but that'll kill demand if I do that as well. All right, positive balance again. We're at a weekly income of about 500 or so. Yep, I'm well aware. So let's see how much a police station is, and then we'll go ahead and buy one once we have the money for it. That's fire safety. Okay, so we need about 12,000 or so. Yeah. So I have to wait a little while before we can put a police station down. Yep, the monthly income or the weekly income's going up. We're at 1,500 right now. It took time. I mean, it, we did take a hit. We converted all of our buildings over to green, making it organic. And. Everyone had to rebuild their homes as a result. The strawberry residence. But this is what a this is a look at the new building types, which is kinda cool. We get to see what these new green buildings look like. Possibly solar panels. 
Yep, they're self-sufficient buildings. Healthy weeds. <laughs> Alright, so we took our first step to making our city green. It's also a new building. I don't remember that. Community school. And we're almost full up too. 250 students out of 250. Okay, so yeah. That school is completely full. Which is what we want. Alright, we almost have enough for that police station. I'm trying to get more and more people to move in if I can. Let's add that. And it looks like we need residential and commercial again. The goal is just to have fun. That's what I generally shoot for. Just grow a nice big city and have fun doing it. All right, let's make sure that our district is extending. No, it's okay. So we need to extend it out down here too. Let's go ahead and paint this. Oh, tiny town. We've reached a population of 1,400. We've unlocked landscaping, event policies, parks and plazas, level two unique buildings, football, new policies, pet ban, smoking ban, parks and recreation, schools out, um, subsidized youth, come one, come all, and match security. Oh. Okay, and new roads, new canals, new buildings, lots of buildings. All right, so we're going to paint this out. And this is the, uh, the paint tool for specifying which buildings are supposed to be green and which ones aren't. Oh. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and give you a street name because I don't think I've done that yet. Uh, S-W-E-D. There. You now have your own street name. Add some more commercial maybe over here. All right, we now have enough for a police station. Let's go ahead and add that before the people move out. There we go. That should make them happy. We should start seeing some of these criminal icons go away. Oh, thank you. Oh yeah, this place is rampant with crime. Pretty soon it'll all go away though. Yep, these little icons are starting to disappear. Oh, no problem. I try to give everyone a name if I can. Okay, it looks
looks like crime is, for the most part, taken care of over here. And let's take a look over here. Oh, yeah, we've got crime out the wazoo over here. All right, police cars, do your thing. Where are you at? Pretty sure that's a police car. Oh, good. Okay, so he is patrolling, getting rid of some of this crime. That's good. It is peaceful, absolutely. I like peaceful. Oh, we've got some abandoned buildings here. Let's, let's tear them down and hopefully new ones will be erected in their place. Alright, crime is saw. Oh, we need a, we need power over here. Oh, electricity, yep, yeah, we need more electricity. We'll add another wind turbine over here. There we go. Hopefully that's enough electricity. No, you might need a little bit more than that. Let's add a, uh, another one. There we go. The higher up we put them, the more electricity they generate usually. Like the dark green here means that it's a perfect spot. It'll provide 8 megawatts of power. The white, not so much. Estimated production, 0 megawatts. Oh, that's not good. It's 5 megawatts down here. 4 megawatts, 1 megawatt. So yeah, up here is probably the best. Um, you can't have too much electrici electricity. However, it does come at a cost. The more electricity you have, the more you have to maintain. There's maintenance associated with this. So every building that you have has a maintenance cost. So if you build a bunch of electricity and it's just going to waste, then that's money that you're pouring down the drain because it costs money to maintain all of that. Some more residential. I do want to add some parks too. Let's see what kind of parks we've got. Uh, large playground. Or we can add a small park. Small playground. A bouncy castle park. Who doesn't like that? Dog park. Sure, everyone loves dog parks. We'll put a dog park in here. That'll make people happy. We'll fill this in with residential. Got water, good. All right, we'll fast forward time again just to get stuff built. So far, we have a nice looking city here. Everything's all green and pollution free well, hopefully it is better be let's add another road here I would like to add more parks here too to make it nicer Put a small park here, or a carousel park. Sure. 
people can walk to that. What's with the pavement being all yellow? That's weird. Shouldn't it be green? <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying. Alright, we need more residential zones. Go ahead and fill this in. Alright, looking good. Let's make sure that our districts are still green. Let me take a look at the district painter. Yep. We're green all the way down to the water here. Now that we've got like $21,000, let's see what else we can make. We've already built a community school. We're going to need another one, though, considering that that school is completely full. Um, I guess we'll put another community school maybe somewhere down here. Do something like that. Okay. And... A panda sanctuary costs $180,000. And when I say dollars, I mean simoleons, but whatever. Oriental Pearl Tower? These things cost a bundle. We've got a football stadium that we can make, $200,000. We're going to have to save up for these. Statue of Wealth? Fountain of Life and Death. Oh, that's, that's lovely. Sports Hall and Gymnasium. Offer citizens more exercise. Substantial health benefits. It's 120000 for that, really? Yikes. That's a new building. That's one I haven't seen before. All right, electricity, we're going to need more electricity. Pretty soon we're going to have to do something about this. I mean, we're building a ton of these. And it's draining my finance, uh, finances, so we'll put two more down. Help the city grow a little bit. Our industry is far from green at this point, considering the amount of smoke they're putting into the air. At some point, we're going to have to build a bridge across this water and maybe put some more things down here. Uh, let's do, do this. And... There we go. Hi, Little. How are you? Or Leon, I should say. You now have your own street. For those of you just tuning in, this is City Skylines. This is the new Green Cities expansion that'll be out October 19th. This is a preview build of that game. Um, most of you probably already know City Skylines, but this new Green Cities expansion Basically, is all about things going green. Uh, green cities, uh, you can paint new districts that encourage the growth of green buildings. No, Leo. Okay. You want... 
Do you want this to say Leo Street or do you mean don't call you Leo? I'm okay, thanks. So do you want Leo Street instead? Oh, okay. Oh, Boomtown. We've reached a population of 2,400. You've unlocked a new area, transport services, ferries, bus, tram, taxi, or specialization, recycling, recreational use. No electricity for heat. Only electricity for heat. Recycle plastic. Recycling centers work with plus 20% efficiency. Oh, gotcha. High ticket prices. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Prefer ferries. We can build new roads. Highways, ramps. Two-way in the high highways. Cemetery. We're going to need that. Advanced wind turbine. That's what I've been looking for. Tram depot. Taxi depot. Small emergency shelters. Ferries. Biofuel bus depot? The biofuel buses are much more quiet but carry just as many people. Place a depot before... Okay, so this is like the greener version of that. <laughs> no problem. So we'll add some more here. All right, it's telling me to look at stuff. Institute of Creative Arts, a prestigious school specializing in creative arts, educates teens, an alternative to the high school. Oh, okay, so instead of the high school, we can put this thing down. It costs 30,000, but you know, school and all. Guess we'll have to put it on, I can maybe put it down here. We'll do that. <laughs> Morning, gamer. How are you? All right, so this is one of the new buildings. Institute of... Cre it looks like the Science Center where I'm where I come from. Interesting. As long as it's being used. Oh yeah, 455, 500 out of 800 students. Okay. So we're starting to see some more high school kids. This is City Skylines. Why are they all red buildings? What do you mean red? This game is City Skylines, and this is the Green Cities expansion. It's an expansion that's coming out October 19th. Build shelters. This is probably for natural disasters, yeah. Small emergency shelter costs 24000 I'm going to go ahead and speed up time so we can get more money more quickly. Disaster, disaster response unit. Oh, that's weird. Maybe it's just a glitch with the stream. 
Yeah, City Skylines is the base game that you would need, and then City Skylines has multiple expansions that you can get. And this is the, w the newest one that's coming out in a couple of days. I'm going to go ahead and put down maybe a park over here or something. Large playgrounds. How about a large park? I've already got a dog park. I guess a small park will work. Oh, can we fit it? Barely. Well, they seem to be happy with that. Just trying to keep things green and happy. That ding sound that you're hearing are houses upgrading themselves. As buildings level up, they grow and they can hold more people. And they generally level up because of surrounding areas. If, it's, if they're surrounded by parks or schools, if their land value increases, then they'll level up with it. Uh, it looks like we need more industry. Smog city over here. All right, let's go ahead and add industry here. Oh, really? That's cool. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Alright, more industrial zones here. Make sure we've got water. There we go. Uh, green, blue, and orange. That is your demand for residential zones, which are green, your commercial zones, which are blue, and your in industry zones, which are yellow or orange in this case. So the higher the bar, the more people that demand that particular zone type. So right now, the orange bar is the highest, meaning that they're demanding more of these orange zones, these industry zones. So I want to put more down. And as I put more down, this bar will start going back down again. If the bar, if there is no bar and I build those zones, then more than likely nothing will be built there. You see, now that I put more industry down, uh, that orange bar is sort of going down a little bit. It's down to medium demand. Yeah, for the most part. I mean, yeah, the lower the bar, the less demand for that zone type. So yeah, right now my city wants to grow because all the green, the blue, and the orange bars are all high, medium to high, so I want to build more of each zone type for my city to grow. That's a good thing. That means people want to move in and, you know, pay taxes and all that, so I'll give the people what they want. Looks like we need some water over here. How much money did I get for a month? Well, according to this, my weekly income is 2,340. So I am earning some money. I can go to my, my budget panel. I can set taxes on the green, blue, and yellow or orange zones if I want to. I have them at 10% right now. You can see how much money you're making per zone level as well. Not making anything from transportation right now. 
budget, we can increase or decrease funding in a certain area. Like if we want to put more money into power or water, we can do that. If we take money away from that, then our facilities won't be as effective. We can take out loans if we need to, but I generally don't like to do that. I guess we'll have to unlock the cemetery, or pay for the cemetery at some point. All right, we'll put a cemetery down. Um, I guess we'll put it up here. That's none of your business, really. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how much I make per month. I have a full-time job, so that should tell you something. I don't have, I don't make enough from this to, to be a full-time YouTuber. All right, so the cemetery is up and running. The cemetery will go out, and as people unfortunately die in this world, they'll be delivered here. It can hold three thousand, from the looks of it. We need more industry. All right, let's add a street here. Because we're getting a lot of traffic here. The only way across is for people to go this way. Oh, water's an issue. Oh, we need more pumps. And we need more power. Okay, well, let's take care of this. We'll add... Actually, we have those advanced wind turbines now. These go in the water, though. They produce 18 megawatts of power. I guess I'll throw one here. And that's connected to this, so I won't have to build any lines or anything. There we go. All right, water's back up to where it needs to be. Yeah, this thing definitely pumps out more power than those other ones do. industry going up. Uh, people are definitely using this extra street here. We've got two streets heading into our industrial sector. Now we could add a third one maybe. Somewhere down here maybe. Something like that. They should use it. That way that people that want to get to work don't have to drive all the way up here. They can just sail right down this road, make a left, and boom, they're in the industrial sector. Uh, if you press the sub button, that means you'll be notified, I believe, if... Uh, well, in your YouTube feed, whenever you go into YouTube, you'll see videos that people have posted you'll get notified when I post a video for something. There's also an alert button on my channel. If you click that, you'll be notified if, um, if I'm live streaming or something like that. Short radio mast. 
Oh, this is for emergency broadcast stuff. I don't think we need emergency stuff yet. Hopefully not. We're up to 62,000, which is pretty good. I do want to get a park over here. I might demolish a house or two to make that happen. I'll put this bouncy castle in here. Oh, not what I wanted. It's gonna fit. Oh, that'll fit. There we go. It's up to you. You can press it if you want. I'm no pressure. Add some more residential zones here. These tooltips are a pain. Let me go ahead and turn those off. Options, gameplay. Um, dynamic weather, op auto open. No, show in game. Let's turn those off. Okay. That should help out a little bit. I've played the game enough to where I don't need tooltips like that. All right, let's continue building our four-lane road here. Continue building on this. All right, some commercial here, maybe. Commercial here. Put <laughs> greatest game in the world. I, thank you. I appreciate that. I, I, that's not the case, I'm sure, but thank you. All right, they've got water. Looks like our city is. Getting bigger and bigger. Abandoned building. I'm going to demolish this. Assuming I can. I appreciate it. Your opinion is appreciated. Taxi depots. All right. Uh, do we want taxis? We can build ferries. Tram depots. We would need a tram line for that. We could just do buses. I want to try this new biofuel bus depot. Just to see what they look like. And the only people, this is going to cause noise pollution, but the only thing that's nearby is the cemetery. It's not like they're going to wake the dead or anything, so we'll do that. Now we need bus stops. So we're going to create some lines. Um, one. Don't we have to start it from here? I guess not. Now he's got to go all the way around again. That's inconvenient. Alright, we'll have him stop. I guess he can stop here. Or maybe that could be it. He could stop there.
I guess we can add this. And then he could go back up. And we'll loop it there. Alright, so there we go. We've got a new line. And I'm pretty sure the buses will do their thing shortly. There they are. Biofuel buses. Nothing like causing a little bit of traffic, though. Over time, people will start riding this bus. Passenger, zero out of 30. Ten vehicles, wow. Day and night. All right, we're starting to see more passengers. Not a whole lot, but we're getting there. Okay, maybe we should add a bus line for, I mean, right now there's no bus lines to get over to our industry sector over here, so maybe we should add some bus lines over here. And then they can add a stop there. Come back around this way. Stop here. And then work their way back to this. There we go. So that line is done. So we should see some more buses heading out on that route. Yep. There they go. sure what these buses are doing, but okay. <laughs> okay, buses, but... Whatever. People love getting into my city. Holy cow. They're donuts galore. Donuts, bug spray, hot dogs. Just regular vans. I'm not gonna play Battleground, no. We'll say this, they are holding up traffic a little bit. That's okay. People seem to be using it. And it looks like we need more workers. It is a food truck festival, absolutely. These look like regular homes. Let's make sure that my paint tool is... Th nope. Okay, so I need to paint my green area further down. And now that I've done that, it, they should rebuild. Yep. They're demolishing now and rebuilding as green.
We're making money. It's a good sign. Uh, what else do I want to put in here? Medical helicopter depot costs eighty thousand. Garbage processing status. All right, we're not producing enough. All right, well, let's go ahead and add maybe a second recycling center. Again, this is a new building here. Um, there we go. Slope is too steep. Of course it is. All right, so I got to add it here maybe. Hopefully the new recycling center can help keep up with everything. We'll see. Let's take a look at our policies. Um, I may have to move. I'm going to move my picture over for the moment so I can read this on the right hand side here. All right, so I can do. I can conserve power, water, there's smoke detector, distribution, there's pet ban, recycling, slightly reduces garbage accumulation, slightly reduces tax income. Well, let's go ahead and activate that. We'll make it a nice green city. We'll, we'll ask for that. Uh, smoking ban. Slightly increased health, slightly decreases happiness. Parks and recreation. Make your parks and plazas the envy of the country. Moderately increases land value around parks. And, let's go ahead and do that. Recreational use. Allows recreational use of controlled substances to attract more tourists. Slightly increases tax income. Moderately increases tourism. Slightly reduces crime rate. Increases police budget by 15%. We'll go ahead and allow that. Schools out. The citizens will prefer working over education, and only a small portion of the eligible inc citizens will go to study. In okay, so we don't want that. We want to promote education. Extra insulation. I don't think we have to worry about that. High ticket prices. We'll get more profit from buses than that. Recycle plastic. Recycling centers work with plus 20% efficiency. Uh, we'll go with that. Okay, so we enacted some city policies. We haven't broken the bank yet, which is a good sign. We need to add more people, because right now there's all these abandoned industries over here, because there's not enough workers. So we have to get more people moved in. I guess I'll move them in along the coast here. Let's just hope that there's no flooding. Make use of every little centimeter if I can. I feel bad for whoever's living here. Okay, there we go. It flattened out. I do want like a park over here or something. Because this is like a little dreary. Let's put a bouncy castle in here. Maybe. Uh, or not. Extend this out a little bit more. There we go. And maybe put something in there. We'd end up having this. Alright, let's put it here instead. There we go. There we go. People like the bouncy castle. Kids love it.
a nice little playground. Alright, we need to add our green area further down here. There we go. We might as well just paint this entire area green. There. That way I'm assured that whenever we build something residential or commercial, it'll be green. Alright, now as far as... What am I going to do about more residential zones? I could put some here. I guess. Something like that. Maybe another park over here. Large playground, maybe? Hi, Sang. Hi. I'll go ahead and give you a street, too, since you're uh, regular. Let's see. Little Leoni. Okay, so... Let's do Sang N G U Y N. I don't know how to say it, but there you go. Man, people really want to move into my town. All right, we'll add more residential. Um, I think I've been on for about an hour or so, hour and a half, maybe two hours. I know I'm going to cut it short soon. I guess we can add a street here. Or, I don't want anyone living around this area anyway. What I could do is add, uh, I could add parks here, I could, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Maybe I'll continue adding residential over here. Again, we don't want residential close to in industry zones just because they pollute. Oh, 1.5, okay. I live in the United States. All right, crime's looking good. Education is okay. High school is good. Elementary is good. We have no university, but I don't think we have that unlocked yet. Transit, 86 citizens per week. Okay. Leisure's looking okay. You may want to add something else over here. There we go. Oh, they... Maybe something over here for the industry sector, too. How about a nice little park? Park with trees. That's huge. There we 
go. The Netherlands, that's cool. Right, we'll add this steer. There we go. Trying to keep things looking nice and spiffy. Let's see if we can't add a small park here too. There we go. What's wrong with green things? Green things are awesome. But that's the beauty. You can make your city however you want it to be. That's why I like this game. Wow, we need more residential. There's a huge demand. Electricity is, yeah, we need more electricity. Let's go ahead and add another advanced wind turbine here. Hi, Tapar69, how are you? All right, finally, our residential demand has gone down. Meaning we finally, hopefully, should have enough. Let's add a street there. Add a street there. Let's add a street down here. Let's continue building our four lane here. All right, see you later, gamer. What am I going to do next? I don't know. Whatever I feel like, I guess. We'll add that here. Like that. There we go. And we'll add some commercial down here since there seems to be a demand for that as well. Water. I'm liking the new green stuff. Again, technically I'm not allowed to review the game yet. It's still under embargo. But this is more of like a showing off content kind of video. More of a preview. So. But I will say I'm enjoying it so far. And again, it's coming out October 19th, for those of you that want to get the new expansion. There's a lot of expansions for this game out already, but should you want more? At some point, we'll have enough money to get higher density buildings. High dense. Okay, so we need a population of 7,500 before we can actually get high density structures. So we're going to have to build a lot more residential zones before that can happen. All right, so what am I going to do then? Well, we could go across the water here. There we go. Got a nice little bridge. And we can start putting some housing down here.
Or better yet, let's create another four lane road here and branch off of that. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're gonna, you know, what I'm gonna do next. I'm just, my goal is just to expand my population and unlock more stuff and have some fun doing it. Right now I'm just building the groundwork for a new area. So we can port more residential down here and more commercial. Do something like this. It's a large scale. I, I probably want to put a park or two in there first. Maybe something like that. Maybe something like that. Trying to keep people happy, maybe something like that. Hopefully that's enough. All right, they need water, so I'm gonna drag some pipes over. They also need power. Busy town. We now have city planning policies, level four unique buildings, leisure and tourism buildings, oils, industry specialization, tourism specialization, free public transport, helicopter priority. These are all policies. Not in my backyard. Bike ban on sidewalks, encourage biking. Filter industrial waste. I like that. Less pollution is good. Electric cars. Everyone living in the policy area must switch to an electric car if they own any cars. Costs two vehicle. Wow. You got to do that. Hi, Hunter's dog. How are you? We're going to have to update our policies in a minute. All right, we need to get power over here too. Let's add another turbine. All right, 18 megawatts. All right, hopefully, is that gonna reach? It should. And it did, good. Okay, let's take a look at some of these new ones. I'll be curious to see what electric cars can do and what they look like. All right, policies. Let's try city planning. Heavy traffic ban, ban heavy traffic on an area. Make sure there are optional routes available does not affect highways. Encourage biking. Not in my backyard. No loud noise in the night. Leisure specialized areas will close for the night. Old Town. Only residents and businesses can use the area for motor vehicles. Ban other motor traffic. Fast recovery. In these areas, the emergency response unit does not search for survivors, but only makes the lot ready for rebuilding. Combustion engine ban. This policy takes some time to have an effect. Wow. Electric cars. Let's go with electric cars and filter industrial waste. All right, so we need to expand our district area to include all of that.
and it looks like we might need some more water. There we go. I believe we're connected now. Oh, we need more sewage as well. Didn't miss much. There we go. So now we have new water and new sewage structures. I wonder if the electric cars got cycled in yet. It may take some time for that to happen. Hi, I don't know how to say your name, so I apologize. G-I-G-S? Is it Gidge? I don't know. Oh, this poor park. It's being corrupted by industrial waste. All right, let's give uh, the newcomers a street name. All right, I think Hunter's Dog was in here first. Hunter's Dog Street and... G-I-J-S. Sure. I think I gave Peter his own street too, if I remember correctly. Did I get? Yeah, I did. Give myself DJ Avenue. That turned into DGA Bridge? That's still Avenue. Okay. No problem. Looks like we still need some more commercial. I'll go ahead and add some more here. I ever institute a pet ban. Anyone knowing me would know that. I love animals. Oh, no problem, Hunter. Yeah, I don't know how to say your name. Uh, did I spell that right? G-I-J-S? I don't know how to say it, so... If you want your full name in there, I could do that. I like, I like making money, personally. I like games where I'm tasked with making money and making a successful industry or a city. So any, any way I can do that. Like right now, I'm, I'm at $201,000 here, so I'm on the right track. Is power still an issue? It is. All right. 
right, I guess we'll need to add another one. Wow, we still need more. That's ridiculous. All right, we'll add two more. Let's see if that's enough. There we go. Well, that's impressive, you're bilingual. Mmm, sewer water. Yum. Let's make sure traffic is flowing okay. All right, so I'm wondering when these electric cars actually start coming in. According to my policy, I've got electric cars queued up. They must switch to an electric car if they own any cars. Cost is two vehicles a week. Or two per vehicle a week. So these might already be electric. Oh, electric car. Edison model. Okay. So these are all electric cars. Most of them. Looks like they're sort of phasing out. Let's see if that's having any effect on our pollution. If I could find it. That's garbage. Education. Citizen happiness. Oh, they're happy. Health. Might have to add some services down there. Wind. Traffic. Looks like there's some heavy traffic here. We're going to have to introduce some other ways to get into the city. The only way into the city is via this, this ramp here. Wow, three or more languages. That's very impressive. I can, ba I can barely speak Spanish. Barely. Nev makes fun of me every time. Alright, so pollution... Pollution's okay. The pollution seems to be coming from the industrial sector and our recycling over here. Outside connections. Land values looking good. Okay. Natural resources. Some forest up here. Uh, districts. There's that district that I made. Leisure. Alright, we're going to need some leisure over here. Wastewater treatment? I believe so. You unlock different buildings as you increase your town's population. I believe that water treatment is in there somewhere. I just don't remember when. Alright, so we've unlocked new zones, metro station, fishing, incineration plant, university, prison, sauna. Okay, more emergency related stuff. Deep space radar. That's mainly for the meteors. Modern technology institute. An alternative to the university. Okay. Harsh prison sentences. Tax relief. I don't care about that. Let me see real quick if there is water treatment. Uh, yes, water treatment plant. I don't get that until I reach 17,000 population. It purifies 85% of the pollution and sewage. There's a pumping service. That's for flooded buildings, though. Tank reservoir... Fresh water outlet.
Yeah. Eco water outlet. Green alternative. It's expensive. Yeah, so let's see if we can use these instead. We'll put these down and delete these. There we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> A little bit of flood in there. That's all right. Hopefully that'll help with pollution. They're expensive to maintain, apparently, but... It might... It might make the water look a little bit cleaner. Because you can see that little trail of black or brown in here. Oh, that, that siren needs to be put out of its misery. And it looks like we've got some issues here. What's all this about? Oh, sewage. Well, we, we have sewage now. What's the, what's the big deal? It's connected. Oh, we need more than... Okay, so it can't pump as much. All right. So we need to add more. And that should hopefully take care of that problem. Are you not connected? Oh, there you go. All right. Sewage treatment is now back up into the green barely. We need more industrial zones if we're going to continue growing. Let's go ahead and do that. We could try farmland. I don't know if there's any farmland nearby. Let's see. There was a natural resources button here somewhere. There it is. All right, fertile land is down here. We could make some of this farmland. We could do that. Um, we can do... We, we'll make it an industrial zone. Right, where's our existing painter? There it is. So we'll have to add a specialization to this. Actually, we're, we'd have to make our own specialization for this. Because if we put... If we put this as agricultural specific... Then all of these will demolish up here, and I don't want that. So we need to have a separate separate district for the industrial sector here that's going to be farming. Alright, so we need to do something like this. It's going to be a new zone. And this is going to be for, like, farming. If I could make an arcade, I would. I have to get tourism up and running for that, I believe. So we've got Frank Franklin Heights, which is a new new district. And we'll add to that agricultural specialization. Farming industry, basically. So now any industry that's put here will be farming. So we can put... Now, I don't know how much space they're going to need. We now have offices, too, for educated citizens. So we're going to want that as well. But I do want to see some farmland. Just because. All right. While we're waiting for farms to pop up, let's add um, some sort of 
Japanese garden. Sure, we'll put that over here. There we go. That should make them happy. There they go. Tropical garden and a fishing island. We can put those in at some point, too. There we go. Here's some farm stuff. I can... Can I name individual pigs? I can! I can name pigs. The classic bacon. That'll work. Bacon the pig. So now we've got agricultural... Sp oh, we need water down here, don't we? We do. I'm a terrible mayor. Absolutely terrible. The pigs need water. I'm going to add some offices, I think, around here, too. It's going to be small, but we'll add them. That way people can work. Instead of working up here, they, they, they can opt to work in office buildings, which I guess we can put... We could put them over here somewhere? No, I want to put them away from here. How about... I can put them over here, and that'd be away from all of this stuff. Not a whole lot, just, just, just a little bit. We do need more commercial zones. Alright, let's put more commercial... Oh, there's some room here for commercial. Okay. So far, so good. I'm going to speed up time again. Bread and beyond. Alright, I do want to create, like, a separate area for tourism as well. So maybe we'll do something like that down here. I would have liked to have upgraded this into, like, a two-lane highway if I could have. I wonder if I can upgrade it. I can, but it's going to demolish stuff. That's the downside. Do we really need it, though? See ya, Hunter. Do you like money? I'm not sure what you mean. I like money. Every I think everyone likes money. Build a regular road down this way. If it becomes too much, we'll upgrade it. But I want to create like a commercial nightlife down here. Something something for tourism. That is all catty cornered. Ugh. That's terrible. Sorry, but that's gotta go. That, that whole catty corner crap. Oh, I missed one. I hate it when they don't look right. Nah, that, that's a little bit better.
still looks a little catty cornered. Yeah, I don't like crooked lines. Ugh. But we're gonna have to create... If we're gonna do commercial and, and focus on nightlife, we're gonna have to create a separate district over here. So, let's open up our district tool. And we'll unpaint this area. There we go. Oh, I want to repaint that. There we go. Uh, It's going to be over here. I, I think that'll do. And then we're going to add a new one. Again, this is going to be more for nightlife. All right. Smooth it. Oop. So we've got a district here, Birch Hills, and we're going to have to adjust that a bit. All right, we don't want... We don't want agricultural here. We do want leisure specialization, tourism specialization. Let's do that. Can we add two? No, we can only do one. All right, so we're going to... This is for tourism over here. All right. And let's add... Let's add commercial zones. I guess here. Actually, we'll just do this. Paint the whole town blue. And now we need water. And electricity. We'll have electricity soon. These should... These should eventually work their way down here. Almost five-star hotel. What a name. All right, let's just, let's give them, I feel bad. We should, we'll connect them for right now, then we'll delete this later. As these fill in, it'll, they'll all connect. But for right now, I have to put this in here so that they do connect. So we've got our tourism specialization going on over here. Club 801, the bulky Gold Beach, Four Seasons Resort, Your Choice Hotel, Hotel Beacon, Grand Hotel, a lot of hotels. The tornadoes are the worst, I think. Tourism and leisure. Um, I guess we'll add... What would we add over here for that? Riding stable, beach volleyball court. Let's do that. We'll add a beach volleyball court. Uh, there's a restaurant here. There we go. People can have, have lunch over there. Oh, no water? Okay. I'll take care of that. Oh, sewage is an issue now, too. I gotta add more sewage. Yeah, 
Yep, the area will be mostly casinos and hotels and stuff like that. Water availability, we'll put that here. All right, water's looking good now. No road access. Okay, well. There. Happy? Pennsylvania, United States. Uh, Marina. Put that there. That needs road access. There we go. Happy? Jet ski rental. People should really enjoy this, hopefully. We can also add special buildings once we have money for them. There's a panda sanctuary. Upkeep is 4800 a week. You gotta be kidding me. 4800 a week, my foot. The Oriental Pearl Tower. Upkeep is 1440 a week. The Temple Complex. Place of meditation and worship for all citizens. Doesn't look too bad. Expensive. A fantastic fountain. $120,000 to put it down. Upkeep is $1,280 a week. I kind of like the fountain, although I don't like how expensive it is. Stadium. $200,000 to put down. $4,000 a week. Yikes. Statue of Wealth, 400 a week. Let's go ahead and put that down. I want to put something down. There we go. And Bird and Bee Haven, 30,000 to put down, 480 a week. We'll add that. Visitor capacity is 220. Can we rotate this thing? It automatically snaps to grid. I don't like that. I think we can uh, turn that off somewhere. Now, what else can we put down? Fountain of Life and Death. Ugh. We can put that down here too, I guess. Trying to attract more tourism. Lungs of the City. Vast area filled with trees, providing the city with fresh, lovely air. 720 a week, 55,000 to put down. It's rather big. I'd want to put it somewhere central, probably. Opera House. No thank you. I like opera and all, but it's expensive. Expo Center, 100,000 to put down. No thank you, I'll wait. Unique building, level six. I need to reach a population of 11,000 before I can put any of those down. All right, so it looks like we're gonna need more residential zones. Um, how are we doing over here? Oh, well, we certainly got more, more wildlife now. Lots of cows. We can start adding residential zones that um, are more dense, but the downside is, is that there's a lot of traffic that comes out of that. 
So we have to make sure that our traffic is up to snuff. It's small doses though, it might work. Like we could add maybe a dense residential here. Let's just try it here and see how it works. If it's too much, we'll have to get rid of it. You know what, actually, let's do them... I'd rather do them on two-lane. Yeah, something like this, maybe. Uh, the pig... The different zones give us different benefits. Some zones give us more tax income. Others are cleaner. Others, you know, concentrate on money. It, it all depends on the zone that you're putting in. The, the specialization. But I, I was just doing it to make it look nice. Just to give a little variety. We don't really need it. You can play the entire game without specializing in anything. But, if you want to be creative and make things look a little different. Oh, that hurts. Just this, this entire sector. Ugh. Oh, there's those offices I put in. Those seem to be okay. I might create like a separate area for high density. Uh, I can unlock areas now. I mean, I've had the ability to do that for a while, but I may want to consider doing that. Maybe I'll start over here because there's a highway that runs over here as well. And I could, I could build from here over to the right. So now I have access to this entire grid. All right, let's plan. Uh, I don't have any disasters, no. Um, I don't think I have them turned on. All right, we can run this. We can turn this into a three lane. It'll be expensive to set up, but it'll probably be worth it if it's going to be high density over here. Hi, Daly. How are you? Alright, we'll add something like that here. We want to have room, though, for an on-ramp, off-ramp, that kind of thing. But we'll be setting up... Uh, sure. And this is going to be for really dense, really dense areas. So I want to make sure there's plenty of room for traffic. All right, we'll add a four lane road here. And we'll start dispensing, we'll start doing the high density residential. We're going to need a lot of power, though, and um, more city services over this way. We have no power over here yet, so I should probably start. Like, oh, it's too late now, but I should probably start it uh, over here. But that's all right. We'll run water over like that. They've got their water. Now they need electricity. Ooh, 
Oops, I think I just demolished that commercial zone. Maybe. Nah, I'm good. Alright, so now we've got high-density residential zones over here. I'm just hoping that these four-lane roads and these three, well, yeah, four-lane roads and these six-lane roads could keep up with the traffic. Hi, Knuckles, how are you? Hi, Corey. Yes, this is City Skylines. This is the Green Cities expansion that is due out on October 19th. Go ahead and add maybe a park over here or something just to keep things looking nice. Maybe a plaza, Paradox Plaza. Let's see if that does anything for them. Not really. They didn't really care for that. The dog park. There we go. People seem to like that better. Try adding this bot botanical garden here, see if that does the trick. All right, sort of. I wanna make sure that people are happy over here. We're gonna start seeing a lot of traffic over here. I wonder how our nightlife is doing. This is our little commercial sector that we set up for tourism. Starting to build on that. Right now, we need residential zones, because right now, no one... We, there's not enough people to man all of these buildings yet. But that's why we're making dense residential zones over here. Alright, maybe we should get on-ramps set up. I could put like a highway over top of, or maybe a road over top of it. We'll do a... Something like that. And we'll go up. I guess. All right, back down. All right. So we've got that, but now we can add on ramps here connecting to the bridge. Or roads, even. We could either do ramps or roads. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Roads allow two-way travel. But here's the thing, though. I mean, they're only going one way anyway. So maybe if we made, like, a two-way... A two-lane road that's one way... And something similar, getting back onto the highway. There we go. And now we need something for the reverse direction. So it's a two-lane ramp, basically. we go. As we start adding more zones over here, we should see more traffic. 
But now there's another way to get into our city, as opposed to just using this over here. Well, looks like people are already starting to use it. Let's continue adding more um, more residential zones over here. Well, gotta find the right spot. There we go. Heavy density residential. There we go. Probably add some here too. Let's go ahead and add some basic services over here too. Although our money is actually, our weekly income is going down. I think that's the result of all of the constructing that we're doing. There is a maintenance cost associated with all that. And I wonder if we should make these go green as well. Let's go ahead and do that before we start getting aggressive over here. So we're going to build out with this. So I'll be curious to see what that looks like. And we might have to add, let's extend this out. There we go. Because that wasn't part of the tourism network. Right, I'll be curious to see what the green towers look like. Sunset residence, okay. Um, no, it's not new. They've always been there. It's just I usually don't do that. I don't bother. But with this with this version, go, it's required if you want to go green. Like, there's this, um, under residential, there's this, um, self-sufficient buildings. So, but you have to paint the district in order for them to actually do that. So I'm kind of forced to paint districts if I want to make everything go green. But yeah, we'll get 30%. It consumes less electricity, produces less garbage, and generates less tax income. So we get less money with these green green buildings. But it also produ uh, pr produces less pollution and all that jazz. The rules are in the description. Click on the link and read. Nope, I didn't. People really like their residential zones. There we go. Some more water. I have no idea when the next update is for Empires. All 
All right, our income is now 4,345 a week. Let's go and add some health services over here if we can. Community pool. Open for all citizens and tourists. Also raises the health of people a little bit. It's expensive though. Sauna, 400 a week. We can do a hospital. 2400 a week though, that's basically all of our income. I guess we'll stick with the medical clinic for right now. There we go. And we need a police or fire station. Firehouse. There we go. Police. We'll go ahead and add that. There's a prison. We'll need some of that soon. And we still need more residential zones. Jeez. Continue adding more until they tell us to stop. Yeah, I don't have disasters on, so I don't have to worry about that. I'll put it down at some point. See how our budget's doing. Uh, taxes are at 10%. Uh, let's increase the dents to 10, 10, 10. There we go. That should give us a little bit more money to play around with. So everyone's at 10% equally right now. We're making nothing off of mass transit, unfortunately. Need to expand our water a bit. Okay. Dog, seriously. Stop that. Pain in the butt, dog. Pain in the butt, dog. Ow. Get down. Get, get down. Dog. 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 Stop that. Come on. I'm trying to stream here, dog. Yeah, I think so, too. The blimps will definitely help. Well, it looks like trash might be an issue over here. Let's see if we have enough in our recycling center. Uh, that looks like we've got enough. Oh, we got dead people, I think. We need more cemeteries, maybe. Let's get another cemetery down here. Oh yeah, oh my, look at all these. Yeah, we need a cemetery. Absolutely. All right, we'll add one here. That should take care of that, hopefully.
Road Maintenance Depot. They travel around the city to boost roads, allowing travel at higher than normal speeds. Something to think about. All right, we'll go ahead and put that down somewhere, because why not? If we can give our roads a, roads a boost, that would be awesome. There's Metro. I, I like Metro, too. Metro's nice because it's sight unseen kind of thing. Ship, plane, there's a blimp depot. It's 20,000 to throw down. The downside is they'd have no way of getting over there. So I don't want to put it too close because that's going to cause noise pollution. So I'm probably going to have to create like a bus line for people to get over to the blimp station. We'll just do Metro and be done with it. Oh, power is an issue now. Let's get that fixed before we do anything else. There we go. Apparently we need some water over here for this building. Take care of that. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. The Blump Depot, or the Blimp Depot is just where they come from. I think it's the stop. Yeah, so if I put the depot over here and then maybe the stop over here. Hopefully they'd use it. All right, let's put the depot out of out of the way here. Maybe we'll throw it over here. Well, I don't want it too far away from the stops, but if I am going to put a stop over here, then it makes sense. I'm not going to like turn the darn thing. One over here for our industrial sector. I wouldn't mind one here too. So now we just have to connect it. I have no idea. However, however long I feel like doing it for. I don't know if that's going to work or not. I don't know if the line is considered connected. Ah, small city. All right, we now have 11,000 people. Train, monorail, cable cars, high-tech housing, high-rise ban, small business enthusiast, big business benefactor, Hydro power plant. We need one of those. All 
operating normally. Okay, well. Unless I did my line incorrectly. T I can understand. I don't know how much of a computer hog this game is, honestly. I may have to adjust my line. Maybe it's not correct. See if that does anything. Oh yeah, one part is input, one part is output. You might be right about that. Alright, so if I did... Right, so is there a way to delete lines? Try this. Okay, so if it's going to go here, then maybe from here to here. And then delete. Let's see if that does it. And then this one. That. I'm not sure if that'll do it, or if we need to connect. If we have to connect maybe this line, we'll find out in a minute. Try it. Unless I got my inputs and outputs wrong. That could be a possibility. Unless no one's using it, that could be another reason. That seems to be okay. I can try to up the number of blimps on the line, I think. I really don't use blimps, so I'm not exactly sure how to do this. But let's see if there's a way to actually edit the line. 
All right, I'm thinking maybe there's a line manager. Oh, free camera mode, don't want that. I know there's a line manager somewhere. That's disasters. I think there's a shortcut to it from here. If I click that, it's roots, just road. Huh. I know there was a line manager in here somewhere. I just don't know where. Line editor top left. Lines overview, there it is. Okay, only the buses are showing up. Metro, train, ferry, blimp lines. It doesn't say I actually have a blimp line. <clears throat> so there's definitely an issue with this. I just don't know what it is. Lines go on pathways. Lines need pathway access to the depot. Pathways are two-way. Oh, I see what you're saying. You made lanes but not lines. Oh, okay. All right, so I need to make... All right, so where is the line maker like there's that blimp ah there it is under it, it looks like a bus stop all right so i have to go from all right create new line there we go one two three four go. I think we got lift off. Okay. The blimps have arrived. There they go. Yeah, thanks for that. Good call. I normally don't make blimps. Thirty-five passengers serviced. People seem to like it. Like we'll need another recycling center somewhere nearby. It's a lot of people. Holy cow. They love their blimps. There's a lot of people there. Holy. Yeah, we need more blimps. I'm just saying. These poor people. Vehicle count modifier. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more than that. Look, we've got, what is that, 699 people? Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna have to add, I'm going up to 13 on this.
Oh, it is so real. Here come the blimps. It's one big traffic jam. <laughs> I just cut right in front. So according to this, there's 1,200 people waiting at this... <laughs> Even dogs? I didn't realize dogs could go on blimps. Wow. 1,500 people? We're gonna need a lot more blimps. Just saying. And they, they keep coming. These poor blimps. These poor people. Wow. We're closing on 2,000 people. Alright, we need like a metro line over here. That's all I gotta say. As much as I love blimps, there's no way they can handle 2,000 people. And they just keep coming. They don't, they're not stopping. Yeah, I'm getting a metro. Absolutely. All right, I'm gonna add more offices real quick for jobs so people don't leave my, let me add some offices real quick. Uh, office zone. I guess we'll add some offices over here. People can work over here, I guess. And then we'll add some metro. And now we need power. Ugh. All right. Let's go ahead and build that hydro thing. The dam. Right, let's go ahead and pause it. Alright, um... Oh, we're not too late. No, I don't want too late. I could make that a two lane. Well, it's already a two lane. I can upgrade it to a four lane. That'll work. And hopefully that'll produce enough power for everything. We'll see. Got a little bit of spillage. But once the dam gets worked out... There we go, electricity is becoming available again, slowly but surely. We're getting another recycling plant. All right, let's maybe put another hydro dam up here maybe, I don't know. Although I think one might be sufficient. Oh yeah, look at us, we're now up in the green. We're good. Uh, we need another recycling plant. There's a lot of garbage icons popping up. We'll get a metro here shortly. All right, recycling. Let's add some recycling over here. Nice and out of the way. Uh, 
hopefully that'll do the trick. Yeah, I figured. We'd need a separate uh, dam on a different uh, stream or something. Alright, looks like the trash icons are going away at some point. That's good. Alright. Metro, Metro, Metro. Love my Metro. Sight unseen. Alright, we'll add Metro... Here. Add it down here. Add it over here. should do it. Maybe one over here. should be good to go. What happened over here? Why is this all swamp land all of a sudden? Huh. I wonder if something flooded over here. dog park has seen better days. Oh, is it fire? I didn't even see that. Fire helicopters? I guess, even though they're expensive. Let's see. 2400 a week. Yikes. Um, I guess we'll add them over here. We have that fire helicopter depot now. I think they need a fire watch tower, is it? But they need a fire watch tower to get notified. Okay, so we have to add these. There we go. Stop spamming or I will uh, ban you. Not enough customers. All right, well, we can do better than that. Corey, you're going in timeout. Read the rules. Unless I just banned you. Either way, it's done. All 
All right, we need more uh, offices, I think. Let's get that going. Oh, good. People are no longer using the blimps. Yeah, I know. Thanks, little light. People don't under people don't uh, care. That's the problem sometimes. Oops, I have to do regular road. There we go. All right, let's add some offices over here. Offices are going up. That's good. I forgot to give Knuckles a uh, road, too. Let's do that. Uh... <laughs> it's getting on my nerves, too. They don't understand that I'm one person. I have a full-time job and I can't I can't possibly play every game they want me to play. 268 passengers last week, that's good. I have a feeling though that most of them are going to be coming from over here. 387 All right, now we've got too many blimps, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and lower this to maybe 10. Let's see if that fixes that problem. Let's try eight. Yeah, I agree. It's not, it's not, it, I think it's more than, you know, it's, it's the young people that have no respect for rules sometimes, you know? With the metro in place, people are using the blimps less and less. So I think we can afford to cut this back a bit. I guess we can leave it on eight for right now and then, well, let's do six. Yeah, basically what I want to do is I want to see these vehicles full and then no one waiting at the stops. That's, that's my goal. All right, let's see how that goes. All right, looks like demand for industry or offices have gone down, which is kind of good. Still an issue with recycling over here, which I'm surprised because I do have, I have this right here. Yep, garbage processing is in the green, so that shouldn't be an issue. Floating garbage collector. 
lessens water pollution. A floating building must be placed on water. Oh, that's interesting. density residential get that in there all right water's looking good although we might need more sewage soon another sewage pipe Good, no traffic jams here. That's what I like to see. And there's barely anyone waiting. That's also good news. All right, 415 passengers served at the metro station. Looks like Metro is where it's at right now. Are these regular buildings? I think they are. All right, I might have to extend my greenery district painter tool. Oh, no. Okay, so what's the deal? Oh, that, that's an office building, okay. Angry Clans Mobile Games. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Alright, we're up to 12.5k. It's not bad. We will need more people, though. Angry clans, yeah. I guess that's a play on Clash Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, all that. At least I think. Oh, that's filled up rather nicely. How many people could possibly whistle? Our little uh, casino slash hotel district. Angry. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Well, this is turning out rather nice. I like this. I love. I love the nightlife. I mean, that. That. I just love that. I hate it when the sun comes back up. At least in, in, in this game, not in real life. Yeah, no, really. Still need more people. People don't have jobs. Alright, I'm going to have to extend this out further. Uh, let's see.
works. Let's get some um, stuff over here. Basketball court, for example. I want to make this place look nice if I can. Uh, we're going to put it... I guess we can put it over here. Fishing tours. This is all riding stable. Sure. Who doesn't like a riding stable next to their house? Once we unlock this zone, we'll have to put some over here. Water's looking good. Okay, we're actually full up on residential now in the sense that there's no more demand, so we should start to see an increase in commercial or industry. All right, let's add another sewage treatment plant, just because it's getting a little bit close to that yellow line there without destroying anything, preferably. We might have to put it further down here. Sorry, guys. Well, no, actually... Can I put it somewhere where it's not... Yeah, we can put it here. It won't make any sound over here. There we go. Takes care of that. And we might need a cemetery over here, considering we see all these dead, these skull and crossbone things over here. Let's take care of that, too. All right, we'll put... Let's we'll put that here. Right, population is now 13.5k. Part of me is tempted to raise taxes again. So 11%, 11%. 11%. I mean, I am providing them with all sorts of stuff. So they, they, they could at least pay me for it. Demand will go down as a result, but... Yep. I'll be making more money now. 7, 8K, 9K, 10K a week. There we go. Look at that. One little percent. Oh, yeah. They're happy. Wouldn't you want to live next to a cemetery? There's the electric cars. They don't look any different. I'll stop when I feel like stopping.
which is going to be soon though because I do want to get something to eat. A murder house? I don't know about that. You've got guts. Alright, we'll add some offices here. And there. We'll add some commercial here. And more residential here. Happy Face Travel Agency. At least they're happy. Hi, Teresa. How are you? I need some more offices. Let's go and do that. There we go. Now that's cool. I get anxiety when it comes to traveling. I don't like traveling. Need some water over here. There we go. This one I had a police station. Yeah, there's a police station right here. I don't know why there's crime popping up. Jail availability. Okay, so we need to add a prison. Cost is 120000 and upkeep is 2400 There's got to be something cheaper than that. Hmm. It's either that or add more jails. Or add more police stations. They're cheaper. Only 480 per week. Alright, so we have no police coverage over here. Let's go ahead and add a police station. There we go. Jail capacity is 60. Yep, I did. <laughs> I did, little. He was getting on my nerves. Water treatment plants crematorium, and floating garbage collector. I want to see this floating garbage collector. Lessons water pollution. Alright, so I have to place this over water. Alright. And I also want that crematorium, if I can swing it. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, I, don't, I think Dev might be sleeping. Wow, look at all this traffic. Even with the metro and the blimps, we still got a lot of traffic here. Now we need a nice influx of offices. Hi, zombie. How are you? Yeah, she did. Definitely. She was hurting. When did you talk to her? Is it recent? Or was it on the recent stream? I want to save space for... Let's add... Maybe another park. Yeah, we'll add a park over here. Really? That didn't do anything? Alright, how about a bouncy castle? And we're having power issues again. Alright, let's throw some more down. Maybe I should start doing... Uh, well, there's geothermal. It does not pollute. Upkeep is a thousand. Wow. Oh, okay. Solar updraft tower. The warm air goes up, turning the... Bl oh, nice. That's new. I haven't seen this. So, I wonder what's better. The geothermal... Power output on the geothermal is 80 megawatts. This is 240 megawatts. But it does create noise pollution. But so does the geothermal plant. All right, so the upkeep on this is 1,000. This is 2,000, but this is like three times, this is three times the production. All right, let's go ahead and build one of these babies. Solar, okay, so I'm gonna put that maybe over here. Oh, it must be placed along the roadside. Uh, sure. People will love it. Oh, no, that's not good. I hate... I, I can only imagine. I, I'm... I've heard really nasty things about fibromyalgia. Well, that's cool. Bye, Sang. Loading garbage collector. Reduces water pollution, must be placed on water. Well, it looks like it's working, I guess. We also have that water treatment plant that we're going to want at some point. Unless that's what this is. See ya, Corey. I'm starting to think I might need another recycling center. Maybe over here somewhere because there's a lot of demand for garbage. See, where would I put it? I 
could put it maybe down here. I'll do that for right now. In the polluted water? I thought I did. This is polluted water, isn't it? All this nasty guck. Oh man, that sucks. Sorry to hear that. That's why I'm home today too. I've had some medical issues lately, so I've been forced to call off work. So I understand how that goes. Oh, directly in it. I think I can move it. Yeah. There. See how that see how that does. Yeah, I wouldn't swim there either. Not bad for a starting little town. Apparently we need more offices. All right, I was about to do that, wasn't I? All right, offices. I got distracted. There we go. Hopefully that's enough. That's true. This is more of like a mechanical, like, I've had chest pain for the last two, three years now, and I don't know, the doctors don't know what's causing it. And there's this pinching in my mid-back that makes it hard to breathe when I lay down on it, so I think I might have some sort of hernia or some type of um, pinched nerve, something, I'm not sure. power over here once once buildings start showing up here. These will connect. I guess. Like I it could be bad, it could not be I don't know. Like that's the thing. The doctors don't know what it is. They reassure me that everything will be okay. I mean they can't find anything super wrong, so it's just this pain and discomfort that I have to live with. I'm gonna get exams, I think. I need. I saw two different chiropractors. They tried making adjustments to my back, but they really couldn't tell me what the problem was. They were like, well, I'll, we'll just keep trying. We'll keep trying until you feel better. They didn't know what the heck was going on. I just wanted an answer as to what's going on and then what they're gonna do to fix it. Not, well, we'll keep trying. That's not, that's not science, I'm sorry. Science is figuring out what the problem is and then treating it. Doctors frustrate me. And then they charge you an arm and a leg for doing nothing. Oh, sorry to hear that. I think just all around, just... More and more people are having medical issues and our coverage and all that is getting worse and worse. And we've got a fire, hopefully. Oh, wow, that was quick. Good job, fire truck. That's true, that's true. Oh, we need. Oh no! 
No. Ugh. Ugh. OCD. Again with the offices, holy cow. Need another water pump. Health insurance is nice, but they fight you over stupid stuff. Like, you know, sometimes they'll be like, well, I don't, we don't agree that you should have this done. Well, it's not, you're not a doctor. How would you know? <laughs> they don't want to pay for anything. It's frustrating. Hi, Mudur. How are you? Yeah, me too. I hope I I would really like an answer at some point, but we'll see how that goes. I think I've been playing for like four hours now. Probably should take a break at some point. The dog's giving me a look. All right, so as much as I want to keep going, I should probably stop. <laughs> um, if you guys haven't already, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks for sticking it out for those of you that have been here for a couple hours now. Um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already and check out my official website, uh, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. 3.5 hours, holy cow. <laughs> well, this is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. See you guys later.